Good morning guys, welcome to our first Disney day, kind of, sort of, loosely. It's about 7am, we've all been up since about half past five, Harry has slept a little bit longer, my sleep, we just won't go into it. So we are heading off to Perkins this morning, Walmart, the expo, we have got um, a park reservation for Magic Kingdom, not sure what time we're getting in there for, or what the plans are, it's just all loose today. Outfit this morning. Hello. I've just got a classic Mickey T on. I've got the 50 pair of white shorts and some night trainers. <coughs> we won't do outfit of the day every day. We, did, we always start it on day one and never finish it. Right, let's go meet Crazy Grandad and let's head off to Perkins. It's a Perkins. So this is Perkins. It's just on the 192 and there is a giant, amazing Walmart just opposite. Shut. Take two. We are not at Perkins anymore. We have come to IHOP, which is across the road from Perkins because Perkins was shut for health reasons. So we are here at IHOP, somewhere we have never actually been before. So I'm actually quite chuffed. The choice of breakfast and pancakes is insane that we don't actually know what we want. There's buttermilk pancakes, there's strawberry pancakes, there's chocolate chip pancakes, there's world famous combos, there's crepe combos, there's Belgian waffle combos, there's all sorts. There's so much, so much, so much breakfast choice. I know you can't really see, but... <laughs> I've got my coffee. Black and strong. Cheers. How was your OJ? Good? Excited for today? Yeah. What do you want to do today on the at Magic Kingdom? Um, Should we see where we can get on? Because I think it's going to be super busy. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to go and say Mount Everest. <laughs> Mount Everest? I'm not even at Magic Kingdom. Harry Anderson. Um, um, yummy, yummy breakfast. I think these vlogs are the same on repeat. Hash browns. <laughs> Scrambled egg, bacon, toast. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Where's your syrup? Some syrup. Yeah. Yummy, yummy, get in my belly. Breakfast was good. A definite thumbs up from us. So it was $86 for the five of us. We got like four orange juices, three coffees, and all that food. Um, so it was about $100 altogether, including a tip. Not bad value, I don't feel. So about $20 ahead. I think that's not bad. Breakfast was really good, like I said, uh, we went to Walmart and I'm about £100 lighter than I was at the beginning. Um, we just bought some snacks, some biscuits and some coffee to take home because I don't know if we'll be going back to Walmart again after that one. Like I said, we're only here for a few days so we want to make the most of it. W wandering around Walmart, I suppose isn't always making the most of it. Um, but the only thing I didn't get is peanut M&Ms. CVS is normally good for them. Um, now heading to ESPN World of Sports. It's just the two of us. We didn't think that the uh, kids and Crazy Granddad would want to come with us to the expo to collect the numbers. So uh, it is just the two of us. We've joined a virtual queue to try and see if we can get some merch. There's only one thing I really want. I just want a pin. I'm not bothered about the rest of it. I say that now. Um, but yeah, I just really, really want a pin. Um, and then I'll pick up my dopey bib. It's busy here today, it's the first day of the expo, it starts at 10, it's now quarter to 10 and the car park is looking very full and big queues. I'm only collecting my race number and I feel really super nervous. I think it's about the rest of the four days ahead. I think I'm going to be an emotional wreck this week guys. Just throwing it out there for the vlogs. It's crazy how many people are here. If you saw last year's vlog, when we came to collect the race bib, there was hardly anybody around at this time of day. Whereas now, it's so busy. So this will be all the people collecting, mainly the 5K, the 10K and the dope challenges, I suppose. I 
think this is possibly going to be one of the biggest queues I've joined of the trip. The queue goes all the way down here, all the way up there, and over there as well. And it's like looping backwards and forwards over there as well. Just out there. It's insane. It's moving, but it's crackers. process was super organised for anyone picking up a race bib. Doping participants were separated off and the queues kept moving. We were then split off into race numbers where you needed ID and confirmation letter to collect your race bib. I feel like I'm going to cry. Thank you very much. Thank you. selling things you might need for the race. How insane are these medals? just leaving the expo and um, picked up the race numbers we've been around the kind of expo style merch things where they sort of like sell headbands and they free up like the advertisement stuff and you get freebies um, the virtual queue for the actual official merchandise is going really slowly we got boarding group 69 this morning even though we clicked on it straight away like everybody else but we only got six minutes to go from 69 the wait this morning said four hours it's still showing to be a two hour wait um, and it's not really moving very quickly either which isn't great we thought it'd move quicker um, sort of like 20 minutes can pass and it only says five minutes have passed in the virtual queue so who knows we are heading back to the car and heading back to our resort for a bit. The resort's only about five minutes away, so hopefully if it gets closer to the time, we will come back. If we don't, we don't, but that's the plan. I have seen that people have already started putting stuff on eBay. Shame on you. My opinion is unless you've got a race number, you shouldn't be allowed to buy merch until the last day. I'm sorry, that's the way it should be, Disney. And all these other people can come in and buy it. There are enough runners that want the stuff without the resellers coming in and buying it. End off. Rant over. So we've finally made it into the expo. Many, many, many hours later, and it is super, super, super busy. I'm gonna have a quick look up, see what merch is left. I am desperate for a dopey pin. It's the one thing I actually really wanted. The official merchandise shop was crazy. People were grabbing everything they could. We were dumping it all on the floor. I did manage to get the stuff I wanted, which was super cool. I got some very, very cool pins, but it was just what I wanted. There was no room for anything else, as everything else had already been swooped up. Ferry boat or monorail, that's the question. And we're choosing the ferry boat. Oh my god, that's a castle! I know you can't see it from this camera, but I can, and she's beautiful. I will do digital zoom, but I want to get on there in a minute. <laughs> 
So we finished at the expo. God, that was the one of the worst experiences I have ever experienced, ever. Did a tiny bit of filming, but it was absolute carnage. Just getting onto the boat, heading to Magic Kingdom to meet the kids. Can't wait. being back in Magic Kingdom. How amazing. And it's all Christmassy still. No pumpkins, but Christmas wreaths. They leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. Come on then. I love the posters through here. the park for me or just that entrance then was just really lovely the fact that there was not many people around the boat was lovely and there was no queue at the turnstiles Fancy that doll under my Christmas tree. I'm second in And there's the beautiful castle. I can't believe how lucky I am that in the actual space of 12 months, just about, I can say I've been to Main Street three times in three separate holidays. I feel like this thing. It's an incredible experience, it's incredible to be to feel like that and be able to achieve that and I'm so grateful that I can do it. Lots of hours, good sweat and at work but it's all worth it. No tears today, just pure joy and smiles. I'm back! <laughs> Welcome to Adventureland. Hi, park fighting. Park park fighting. I'm sorry, guys. I really need to get a better vocabulary, a better descriptive words to use. Must try harder in English literature and language. I'm just filming. Random, random stuff. Big cues for everything. Spring rolls. Orange birds. So, just found Emily and Harry. What news have you got, mate? Well, Galactic Hero. Harry got Galactic Hero on Buzz Lightyear. I cannot believe it. That's unreal. <laughs> Dad is very, very jealous. <laughs> Gotta go on it. Secret. <laughs> well, the ride really. might have stopped for a minute <laughs> right by the robot, but so you still got Galactic Hero. Well done. <laughs> bit cheating, but yeah. A little bit of cheating. So they've just come off Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and the queue time was about 95 minutes. I think I'm gonna go and get these guys some food because they're not eating properly yet and some drink. How's that sound? Good. Hot dog? Yeah. Yeah. Hot dog for Harry, let's go. Bellies are suitably full. I am a bad vlogger. Yeah, I was too hungry, ate it all. So we went to three different places for lunch because we're all a fussy family. Well, I'm not fussy, but I didn't want chips. 
So David and Emily at the, at the Golden Oak Outpost and got chicken strips and fries. I ate at Pecos Bills, which is here, and had rice and chicken. And Harriet ran the corner at Tortuga Tavern and had a hot dog and chips. Not fries, chips, which were quite nice actually. Um, and then we just all met in the middle and um, ate together. So it was really yummy actually. We managed to miss the storm, there are lots. So we managed to miss that. And now we are going to head on to Disney Railroad. We have not been on the Disney Railroad for a very, very, very long time. I don't think even Harry can remember yeah. the Disney Railroad. I cannot. It's been that long because it's been down forever. Really looking forward to it. And then we might go and ride some rides. Thinking of going to space, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. since I picked the camera up we have obviously not at the Magic Kingdom anymore the Magic Kingdom was super super busy we left the queue for Space Mountain it was a 135 minute wait we decided to have a wander down Main Street and have a look in the shops so that's what we were doing um, we've been back at the resort for a little while we've had a swim we've got some drinks um, we'll head into the food court now just to get some food for our evening meal so I thought we'd stay here for the night the first race is tomorrow morning early starts all the races start at 5am buses start from 3 and yeah so I think I'm going to probably have to leave I wake up at half 2 leave my room at 3ish quarter past 3 not figured out how long it's going to take me to get ready but yeah that is where we're up to. The resort is really beautiful at night. I'm loving this resort so far. The pool was really lovely and warm. Not too busy. His lifeguards at night as well. But it's a beautiful, beautiful resort. Let me spin you round and show you. 
Especially at night time. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we've come to the intermission food court and it's actually really good. There's a bakery section over there. There's a bit like a proper entree section there that serves things like um, hot dogs and salmon and all sorts of different things. We've got burgers over here and pizza and then over there sort of like a deli section with salad and sandwiches, yogurts and juice. And I have got Greek salad. What did you see? Giant the pizza. pizza. The pizza was 18.99. Good? Yeah. Yep. Are you enjoying that? Yeah. Hot. Let's dig in. <laughs> I got sure. You're sent to the world show, okay? <laughs> this bit's really cool. So we'll put inside now. We're at two, almost two and a half miles. 